I'm Christina. We are off. And this is John. Together, we just packed up our lives. Christina Castellos joins me now. Put our careers on hold to sail around Australia. Oh, this is magic. Sail your boat under the bridge. Into Kana, a 50-foot Genoa sun of the sea. She needed some work, but now we're ready. We're going through the heads. For the real adventure to begin. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> well, guys, the day has finally arrived. We're leaving Melbourne. We are excited. Yeah. This is our second attempt. We're chasing the sun, but first we have to enter the Bass Strait. Thanks so much for seeing us off, guys. Where are we? Right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for the ride. It has been an unbelievable 24 hours. Are you right? What? There's really nothing on the dock. The weather has been insane. Wind's currently, John. 37 gusty with 48 knots. Oh my gosh, how are we going to leave Melbourne in two days? Yep, it was crazy. John and I were on board and it was wild, but I thought to myself, you guys have seen so much wild weather now. Probably getting bored of it, but no, this, this one was wild. Some marinas were damaged and vessels sunk. Smashed. in 17 hours Woo! we are excited this is our second attempt so hopefully this time covid you don't get in our way at all times either john or i will have to be on watch always looking out for traffic wildlife and skyfall in front of us we're always going to have to be in our safety gear and harness particularly when we're out on the deck so we've installed these jack stays so we can always be clipped in and attached to the boat if we fall overboard. You probably hear John, he's scrubbing the deck. I don't know why we need to do that ahead of this next journey because clearly we're gonna get salt all over us again anyway. I don't know how I'm gonna get anything done with this noise. I might have to go somewhere else, one sec. And I actually can't even get out of here. I can't escape the boat right now because Oh. Good one, John. Yeah. Can you please take these off so I can get out? What? Can you please take them off so I can get out? Can you get out like that? No. Just loud yeah, in there. Can we, can we, can we okay, let's find a spot. We have a pretty background. Is it pretty? Hang on. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? So, tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., we are going to be leaving Melbourne, which is so exciting. It's going to be our second attempt. We are going to be in company with another boat. It is called Skyfall. It is a Sense 50, and it's actually going to be skippered by BA. So he was also on board our trip from Hobart to Sydney. We met him on that trip, and he actually said to us, hey guys, this is your first experience. Come join me come in company with me and I'll get you all the way to Eden or Bermagui safely. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be nearby one another and we're going to make our way all the way to Bermagui, which is going to be wonderful. So we can contact each other on the radio if we need to. Um, and yeah, BA has been an absolute wealth of knowledge. BA, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Feeling lots of adrenaline, feeling super excited feeling grateful for this opportunity, feeling overwhelmed about the fact that we've spent a couple of months here getting to Kana ready, and this is the moment we've been waiting for. I know it's going to be a tough journey. With just John and I, there's going to be hangry moments. I know there's going to be moments where we are sleep deprived and tired. We are going to freeze. It is going to be chilly, it is winter here at the moment and the Bass Strait is going to be cold. 
Knowing that that's what we're going to endure, I'm getting mentally prepared for that. Oh God. <laughs> John, wave. I have provisioned. There is plenty of food in the fridge. Just prepping some fruit salad. Making sure that we are always full and have lots of healthy food on board and lots of naughty snacks as well. Wish us luck. Is there anything we've forgotten to do? Are we ready? Yep. Are we good to go? Good to go. Are you excited? Right, I'll catch you later then. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Right. Just a little of a conversation with Robbie. So I'm... Are you excited? I'm excited. What are you most nervous about? Um, right now, getting wet feet. <laughs> So if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, we're all packed, ready to go. We have everything stowed away in the kitchen. Lounge, we call it the lounge. What is it, the galley though? The nav station's all set. So we will be sleeping in this hot berth and we have all our gear ready to go. And we also have some more winter woolies. We won't be using our berth here at the front. And everything is stowed away, as you can see. It's getting full on, we're all ready to go. Thanks for coming. Take me the whole year, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> we leave in five minutes. Dad has called. Are you going to farewell me? Oh, Dean's yeah, coming. I've got to go. I've got to go. Love you. Bye. Love you all. Bye. Bye bye. Yay! Yeah, they're all my mates. I've still got my drone out as well. Yeah. <laughs> right, to put this off. Yeah, yeah. Let's go square on the bike. This was the second time we had ever reversed from our pen by ourselves and our friends were watching on. Well done, baby. <laughs> you watch that side for me. Yeah. And in that moment, we were saying goodbye to our old life and close friends. And hello to a whole new world on the water. A final wave and then it hit me. We won't be getting off for four days. Can you get the life jacket? This was no joke, we were about to enter the Bass Strait. Just ahead of us was Skyfall, but we still encountered a few issues. On the next episode. Oh, let go of it, just watch this bash in the pit. Be careful, John. In the role he sees, the Spinnaker Halyard goes flying, and we finally find our feet. We're sailing. We're sailing. Now we're eight and a half knots.